She always wakes up earlier than 6.30. What time do you wake up? Wow, 6 or 5.30. What time do you guys wake up? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. <laughs> 6 o'clock. Oh my gosh. Finn, what time do you wake up? Yes. Wow. That's, so we all wake up really early. And I think that as students, we don't have enough time to prepare for a full day of studying, extracurriculars, and... Um, and other activities. So, as you can see, as we grow up, the amount of sleep that we receive um, changes. So, as babies, we receive around 14 hours of sleep. That's a lot. I don't know <laughs> who else gets 14 hours of sleep. And then, as teenagers, we <laughs> okay, maybe he does in the back. <laughs> uh, and then. Teenagers are recommended to have around eight hours of sleep, and then adults at seven hours. So, we have four stages of sleep, and the first stage is light sleeping. So this is the weird limbo time between um, being awake and being asleep. So this is our transition period. Um, and actually, a few weeks ago, I went to Spain, and have you guys ever heard of a siesta? Yeah, everyone likes a siesta, right? Um, so the locals said that your siesta period should be around 20 minutes, and that's around the period of light sleeping, transitioning from being awake to being asleep. And then stage two we have is the onset of sleep, where your body temperature drops, and then your body becomes disengaged from your surroundings. At this time, your breathing also slows, so that way your brain can more engaged into being asleep. And now stages three and four are the most important and most reparative parts of sleep. And at this time, the muscles relax, tissues grow and repair, energy is restored, and um, hormones are released like sex and growth hormones. So at this time of, the, of sleeping, your body is preparing for a next full, busy day. Um, and now we also have REM, which is rapid eye movement, and that's where you dream. Um, your brain is very active at this time, and your eyes are moving back and forth. Your brain is trying to process your unconscious thoughts that you had earlier in the day and try to put it into this little film. <laughs> um, and what you have here is a dream, or a nightmare. <laughs> and some of the other important things that students should also give to your brain is physical activity. Um, physical activity is also beneficial to academic um, performance. And so while it is important to exercise your mind academically, don't forget to exercise your body physically. I think this gives substance to the meaning healthy body, healthy mind, which my dad says like almost every day. <laughs> um, so I like to hike um, and walk, and uh, what types of sports do you like to play? Basketball. Basketball, that's fun. Tackle football. Tackle football, wow. Mm -hmm. It's just as important as academics because um, through physical activity, your brain can function in other ways than just solving problems from a math textbook. And so that's the same with extracurricular activities. When during your teenage years, you might become a part of a team that you've never been a part of before, and then you work to create um, teamwork and other personal connections. And so extracurriculars help your brain think in other different types of ways. Like, who can I pass the ball to so that way our team can make a point? Um, with music as well, we can process music and understand music in a different way than just listening to it. 
Um, I'm a part of my high school orchestra, and I think it's really fun um, when I turn on the radio and I hear music that I've played before. I think it gives a special connection, and I think um, music is very important. Um, does anyone here play an instrument? Me too. What about you guys? The piano. The piano. The violin. I love the heart. That this girl's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Recorder. Activities and a lot of people to meet, and um, teenaging or the teenage years are between childhood and adulthood. But I also think that it's a period of exploration, um, and we shouldn't be afraid to be making mistakes. So making mistakes—that's a no-brainer. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so now I'd like to invite you to. Um, visit the rest of the facility. We have many different activities that um, relate to different parts of the brain. Or, like I mentioned earlier, um, one activity that I especially like is the sense or the sense of science, where you can um, test.